Well, it's a hot day today in California. And my nose is running. I don't know why my nose is so running. Anyways, we're gonna go to Goodwill to pick up something that I bought like two weeks ago. And we just never were able to go because both of us were sick. But they said that they have, they still like, they're still holding it for us. So we're just gonna go and pick that up. And um, I don't know what else we're gonna do. Ready? It is. It's piping hot. We couldn't pick up the cabinet because we were we abandoned it for too long and they just sold it to someone else. So we're at another store I'm trying to see if they have anything available. Ew, who would wear this? It's kind of like a little bit R-rated. All right, we're making our rounds today. We're at the Salvation Army Family Store. This is like the best store that has a lot of furniture. It's a little bit more expensive. But I like this store. Oh my God, look at this store. Awesome. I really feel like this place, like this place or stuff, like a furniture store. Oh, cute sofa. Oh my god, that bunny looks like the bunny that I lost when I was a kid. Hey, so, oh my god, my camera's all scratched. Anyway, so we're home and disappointing day. Can't find any cabinets that I was looking for. It's already been two months since I've moved in here and, well not here, but moved to LA, but yeah, that's still not happening. Um, books at Goodwill. Goodwill actually has a lot of good book selections. Um, first one is classic Gulliver Travels. That's that, and then I read this when I was in college. I can't remember what the ending was like, so that's why I bought it again. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And it was $2.99, but the white tab was half off today, so I got it for $1.50. Great condition. Yeah. Anyways. Hey everyone, so um, today was like the final straw. I went to like all these Goodwills and Salvation Armies and I just cannot find the exact like cabinet I'm looking for so it's just gonna be a change of plans what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna build the entire uh, table because now I'm like really running out of time um, the thing is I said there's gonna be a lot of changes in this household come April and the thing is like my parents are coming and um, the reason is because my dad has to go to Korea for a while and my mom isn't going so I don't want my mom you know staying by herself because my mom actually had brain tumor she had numerous surgeries and people who had like brain surgeries they're never like, the same even if they look totally normal they always have the risk of either fainting having seizures or having some sort of complication and you cannot leave them alone and I'm not gonna you know I can't really let my mom just stay by herself in Texas so I told them to come over and I wanted my mom to stay with me while my dad was in Korea. So that's just kind of like the change of plans. And that's why I have to go to Ikea and buy like a day bed because I only have one bed and not all three of us could sleep on the same bed. So um, that and then I need, a, I need to like get my table finished so I could organize like the entire place because right now my stuff is just all over the place and it just still looks like someone just recently moved in. As you can see it's just kind of like a mess. I never actually cleared up the living room. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to do some measurements and I'm going to draw out like what I need and you know like the measurements and stuff and we'll go to Ikea tomorrow to buy my day bed. I've already um, 
ordered my mattress from overstock.com which is extremely expensive uh, I don't know like foam mattresses are just super expensive but anyways I decided to put the money in so I ordered my mattress and hopefully it comes before um, you know before maybe like Monday or Tuesday and then um, yeah and then like Oliver just randomly gave me these studio lights so see like that's one that's two I don't know if it'll come out of the camera as you can see it's like studio lights he was like here take my studio lights and use them so I have this obligation to use studio lights despite the fact that I already have um, studio lights but um, yeah now I'm kind of panicking because my parents are going to come soon and this place is like the way it was when I first moved in so um, I'm probably going to move my love seat to over there where all that junk is move that junk out and then I'm going to build my table on this side and I need some stools so I can put them here and then my day bed will probably have to be where the love seat is because I can't put a day bed in my room. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be about it. Then I have to move Miss Ma and all that crap. So it's kind of panicking. So I'm gonna do my measurements and try to draw out what I what I want my desk to look like, and then we'll go from there. All right. Um, Basically, I was looking at Ikea and I can't find anything that I could just use for the base that I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to calculate the measurements and try to figure out what I need to do so I don't waste a trip to Ikea tomorrow. I'll probably see how much the countertops are, which will probably be very expensive. Yep, not the cheapest stuff. Mm, probably this. Kind of too wide. Uh -huh. Alright, so I kind of made my list of what I need at IKEA tomorrow. Just gonna buy everything there. It's just gonna be. Um, three base cabinets, and this adds up to about um, 150, probably like 230 ish. And then I need two countertops, which will be about a hundred dollars. And then I need what else do I need? Oh, I need my day bed. Um, yeah, and then I need some other hardware stuff but anyways hopefully I could get all my stuff tomorrow so yeah I was just planning my stuff <laughs> this is my thing let's just make some calculations and um, basically I found an inspiration from IKEA hackers and I want my desk kind of like this but this looks too crowded, so I probably want like this out and then one here, a thick one in the middle and then probably one at the end. So I could have two places to put um, my chair and then I could have a longer countertop than this person because this person only has, um, how long is this person's desk? Yeah, he's like 132 inches. Mine is probably going to end up probably a little shorter than 150 inches. So mine is going to be way longer than his desk. But, yep. Anyways, sorry about the TV noise, but uh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep so I can meet Oliver early tomorrow. And someone asked me about that chair. This is actually from Ikea. I just took out the bottom part. This is, there we go. This is an extremely cheap chair. So um, for that person who was looking for this chair, you can get it at Ikea and all you have to do is not attach the bottom part. And there you go. All right, so feel a little bit 
relieved that I finally planned out the desk and I don't have to search for cabinets anymore at Goodwill because it was really tiring and disappointing that I never got to figure out what I needed. So I'm um, just going to invest a lot of money for a lot of cheap plywood and just make my desk. So um, hopefully you guys could see the process, but um, I need to finish it before next Tuesday. So yeah. Anyways, um, tomorrow I'm probably going to go to Ikea, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!